vehicle to internal power. First umbilical tower there, uh, separating from the booster. First umbilical tower from booster. 30 seconds now until launch. Ground umbilical to the third stage has been disconnected, and in just a moment, the second umbilical tower will separate. Power on board. There's the second tower. Command for ignition, oxygen. Launch command has been issued. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Engine turbo pump at speed. Engine at maximum thrust. Lift off. And there is lift off of the Soyuz MS-10 to the International Space Station, carrying Nick Haig and Alexei Ovchinin to the orbital complex. This again is Nick Haig's first time to uh, launch to space and Alexei Ovchinin's second. Hearing good first stage performance for the Soyuz, delivering nine 130,000 pounds of thrust from its four boosters and single engine. In the first stage, its Soyuz measures 68 feet in length and 24 feet in diameter. 60 seconds into the flight. The pressure in the chamber is nominal. One copy, uh, everything is well on board, they're doing well. Thank you, copy. Everything proceeding as uh, intended for today's flight. Now just a little over a minute into it. The velocity of the Soyuz is about 1,100 miles per hour. Inaudible. And we have the escape tower for the Soyuz now jettisoned. Everything continuing nominally. Four strap on boosters have been jettisoned and they've completed their job, dropped away at an altitude of 28 statute miles. Soyuz traveling about 3,350 uh, 3, miles an hour. Is it emergency of booster 2 minutes 45 seconds, the uh, emergency, the failure of the booster? Failure of the booster? Yes, BS. Yes, BS. Separation. Enable power. <laughs> 190 seconds into the flight, so he's traveling in, in about 4,700 miles uh, per hour. Don't be in a hurry. Burlaki, copy. We are in uh, weightlessness, you know, according to our sensations. Так.